yeah, to tighten these properly, you go 22 foot pounds or I think it's 45 millimeters, and then you go 90 degrees each bolt. I'm reusing these bolts, these are okay. Okay, I'm ready to pull this valve cover. Let's take a look. Oh man, this thing is clean. Look at this, that is nuts. It's pretty clean. Okay, the engine is at top dead center. I took off this crank sensor indicator, <clears throat> but it's at top dead center. So you can see the dot right there aligns with that. Okay, and the camshaft lobe is actually not pressing against these rockers. Just trying to do it too fast. And yeah. A few moments later. Hmm. Mm. Really okay, guys. So this was like kind of the easiest thing. I tilt. We tilted the engine this way. I can take the oil pan pan out and then i can change these chains while out because otherwise it's i can't really do it when the pan is still installed and then i'll power wash the pan and everything so it's gonna be nice all the bolts are out from the oil pan get this off might need two hands for this look at how clean this engine is the oil pump, crazy. Here's the oil pan, isn't too bad. This is, I don't know what that is, some kind of dirt. It's like weird, but yeah. I'm gonna go ahead, clean this, power wash it, have a new gasket for it as well. Okay, so I did this oil pump sprocket bolt. I'm gonna take this off. Make sure you install it back the right way, but I wanna take this off so I can change the chains. Come on. Took a little bit of wiggling. Got this off. Okay, make sure the chain uh, sprocket goes in like this, not the other way. So this main old tightening chain has 48 links, so make sure your new one also has 48 links. Same with the oil pump. Oil pump has like 26 links. Make sure it has 26 links on the new one too. We also got new oil pump chain, new chain right here is installed, IVs. This is the condition of the head gasket that was on this engine, that one. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Either way, we're redoing it. I mean, the engine doesn't look bad, that one, I'm talking about that one, so... We'll see. I was completely wrong. I thought that I would finish everything in 
two days or the weekend, but obviously nothing goes as planned. And uh, yeah, as you start diving into this stuff, it's like, man, like there's a lot of work that needs to be done. But uh, yeah, I'm just excited that I'm slowly but surely putting this engine back together with fresh new parts. So that's really exciting. I'm going to probably have to do something with the cylinder head. I want to replace the valve stem seals on it and some other stuff. So we will see. I'll probably get that done at some point. Yep, but right now I just want to finish the block side. So cylinder is fine. Cylinder head is fine. I flipped it on the it's sitting on the rockers now. Nothing crazy, but there are some cylinders. This seems like there was coolant here possibly, and then this is kind of oily. I don't know if it's from head gasket or what. But I kind of want to take care of that stuff, so I'll probably take it home and get this refreshed or maybe lap the valves. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, guys, so I got the oil pan gasket, and here's the oil pan. I cleaned it up really, really nicely, really good, and I'm ready to install this gasket on. All right, I got a new <clears throat> oil level sensor made in Germany from Hella. Yeah, everything is nicely cleaned up. Oil pan gasket, mating surface, everything is amazing. Ready to install this gasket and install this oil pan onto that engine. Not gonna lie, so I don't wanna have any leaks in the future, so I'm gonna use some sealant with that gasket, you know, just to eliminate any possibility of the leakage, you know, this is all smooth, the surface, and same with the engine side, however, I just want to be on the safe side and to make sure that, yeah, we don't have the issue at all, so, with any of the oil leaks. I yeah, just added a little bit of a RTV right here on the surface, about to install the gasket on top, and then I'm gonna put some on top of the gasket as well. So both sealing surfaces, the engine and pan are gonna be sealing really good. Okay, I'm not putting any RTV right there just yet. That's where the front timing cover goes. And then there's some RTV right here, as you can see, it's not too much. And let me tell you, if this pan ever needs to come out, it's going to be pretty easy to clean up the RTV comparing to the paper gasket. I, it took me two hours to scrape off this paper gasket. It was nuts. Okay, pan is going on. I'm starting to put these bolts back in. Yep. Slowly but surely, I get this car back on the road. And by the way, I was using just a, a black Permatex oil resistant um, RTV. Yeah, and just kind of go one by one all the way around and install this. And don't over torque it. It's, I think, 21 Newton meters is the torque for these, but it's not much. I mean, just snug. They're small bolts. All right, oil pan is installed, so everything tightened up. And now I'm gonna start working on my timing cover up front here and chains now. I got a brand new <clears throat> oil pump chain tensioner or guide or rail right here. And there's the spring and bushing I'm gonna install together. Reuse those, they're fine, yep. Okay guys, this is what it looks like. Spring bushing and new 
tensioner for the oil pump installed. Okay, now I'm installing two other pieces of tensioning rail for this side. Okay, word of advice, install this guide first before you install the oil pump guide. Yep, I had to take it all back out. There we go. Cool. Now I can install this guide. Okay, timing cover is all nicely cleaned up, prepped. We can install it now. I just have to put our TV. I put our TV right here. And then on this side, and then I'm gonna put just a little bit right here, only just a little bit. You don't wanna plug up that hole, but it does need it right there for the chain tensioner. Okay, the timing cover is ready to go back on. I didn't put a lot on this area where the hole is for the tensioner everything else is gonna be good all sealed up I'm about to install a new crank seal there it's gonna lube it up a little okay got the crank seal installed but now it's a perfect time for me to clean this head gasket as it's uh it's really nice because it's at an angle so i'm gonna avoid as much of it those you know particles falling anywhere into the cooling jackets and oil jackets so this is perfect guys this is past midnight now and uh i'm still trying to put this engine back together of course it's not gonna happen uh soon um but i just want to get as much done as possible tonight flipped it back over and uh yeah as you can see i got all this stuff cleaned up but i'm gonna take care of the cylinder head uh take it home and in the meantime i'm gonna just kind of just put you know preserves it just gonna cover this engine and uh yeah as you can see we have new timing chain right there everything just gotta cover everything to keep it clean. Okay. Sprocket right here is on. Make sure that your Woodruff key is there too. I'm installing this harmonic balancer in really good condition. Actually, pretty nice shape. The rubber is still good. So yeah, installing that. 